Hi guys. So today what I'm gonna do is kind of do a 10 things about me, like a get to know me type thing. So I came up with a couple, um, just like a list of things to kind of like go through so that you can kind of get an idea of the person I am or what I'm into. So let's begin. All right, so number one, <clears throat> my uh, I'm very into criminal psychology and serial killers, and I've been like this for years. I have probably about 10 serial killer books just chilling outside in my living room, like on the coffee tables and stuff. I don't know, I've just got a fascination with it, and I always have, and I can pretty much talk in detail about each serial killer, what their paraphilia is, what they're into, uh, their modus operandi, all that stuff, and when it happened, what kind of victims they liked. I, I don't know, I've just always been into that. Um, I have done some psych courses as well. Uh, and number two, long childhood obsession with Marilyn Manson. Uh, <laughs> anyone who knows me or has known me for a long time knows that I loved Marilyn Manson growing up. Uh, I wanted to marry him, I wanted to have his children. I had a, you know, wall covered in pictures of him and stuff like that. I, I felt like he was the only one who understood me when I was going through my dark phase in uh, childhood. And um, yeah, he's my, he's my favorite. I still love Marilyn Manson, but obviously not obsessed anymore. But uh, if uh, he's watching this, <laughs> there's, there's still a hope for you, my friend. <laughs> um, okay, <clears throat> number three, I love country music. Uh, not just any country music. I hate the new country music that's out. I love old, old country, like Johnny Cash and um, Hank Williams and all that stuff, but I also love mostly 80s and 90s country. George Strait, Clint Black, Garth Brooks, stuff like that. Love it. And it just brings me back and I get super mushy when I listen to it. Uh, and then, number four, uh, you guys probably already know this about me. I'm a recovering alcoholic, uh, addict. Uh, I identify as an alcoholic. But um, yeah, so I do not drink, I don't use drugs, I don't do anything. I work a program of Alcoholics Anonymous and that's a big part of my life. Uh, the number five, I'm pescatarian currently. People always say I'm vegan because I was raw vegan for like a year and a half and then I was fully vegan up until probably about six months to a year ago and I started eating fish again and uh, organic farm raised eggs. So. I guess, you know, I could say pescatarian. Um, I won't ever eat red meat or poultry or anything like that again. Uh, I guess I just don't feel as terrible about eating fish. I know that's horrible, and I know there's vegans out there cringing and thinking I'm a horrible person, but to each his own, my friend, and as long as I'm not like brutally murdering, you know, piggies and cows and stuff like that, I just don't feel as bad. <laughs> um, <clears throat> number six, my dad was Bane from the original 97 Batman and Robin. Uh, I said that in a previous video as well, so you guys already kind of know that. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of, I was on set all the time when I was younger, uh, during that, when that movie was being filmed, hanging out with uh, all the people, George Clooney and Uma Thurman and Chris O'Donnell, Alicia Silverstone, all those people. It was really cool, cool experience as a kid. Uh, number seven, I love camping. I love camping, I don't know. It's just kind of camping and hiking. They really make me feel just like happy and like carefree. I love being in nature. Um, <clears throat> God, my chest. I have, getting over that cold still, guys. Number eight, uh, I love video games. Uh, I do play a lot of um, Xbox One <laughs> and it just makes me happy. I don't know, sometimes I daydream about it and I'm like, oh, I haven't played video games in a while. So it's like really kind of just like a little guilty pleasure. <clears throat> um, number seven, can no, sorry, number eight, <laughs> number eight. You, wait, shit, that was number, <laughs> okay, number nine. <laughs> I'm fucking this up already. Uh, number nine. This is kind of like a personal thing and I'm just really open and I have no filter, so I'm gonna say it. I have, as sexual as I am, and as much as people think like, oh, I'm, I'm wild and I've had a crazy life, and I have, I've actually not been with very many guys. I'm a serial monogamous, 
So I've been in three major relationships. Therefore, most of the people I was with were like right before I was 16 years old. And then pretty much like three after that and like one more, you know? So like, uh, I'm not gonna like go into the number, but it's very low for someone who's my age and has uh, been around the block. You'd think like I was probably like wild. Uh, that being said, I have been with many women. So <laughs> I'm gonna say that right out the gate. I've not been with a lot of guys, but I have been with a lot of girls. Um, I think there's like a safeness about it. And it's also when you're in a relationship, a lot of guys don't care if you like hook up with a girl. So, um, and number 10, uh, I have been to jail. Um, I think I said that in another video as well. Uh, so yeah, I need to stop saying uh and um. Again, that's, that's just me. I need to start really focusing on that. We'll work on that later. So yeah, I've been to jail and um, let's see. And then there's a little bonus. Uh, I'm a horror movie fanatic and uh, psychological thrillers. I love gore and just dark kind of macabre stuff. I'm really into that. I even have the Silence of the Lambs, Death Head Moth on my arm. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite movie. So yeah. Oh, and Hannibal Lecter, I would marry him. So yeah, that's about me. And those are the 10, 11 things that pretty much encompass my personality. There's a lot more, but I think those are like the top um, descriptive things about me. So, all right, have a good day.